Hi, my name is Suzette Allen with DiscoverMirrorless.com. I just created the coolest hybrid e-product with stills and video, and I'm dying to show it to you. I made it with uh, ProShow Web, and I edited all the videos in Lightroom. It's actually really easy. So let me show you a quick clip. Wasn't that a great little clip? Actually, you can see that ProShow did all the transitions for me. So each little clip, I want to be short and I don't need the lead time before and after for fades because it's doing it all for me, blending it in with the stills. So here's what I did. I took all my stills and all my videos and I chopped all the videos down to little pieces like say between nine and uh, three seconds long so they can all be mixed in with the stills. It's actually pretty easy. So let me show you how I did that. So in Lightroom, I've already imported all of my images of Jasmine into a catalog, and there's 247 here, but I wanna separate my stills from the videos. So what I did is I made a collection, and I put all of the stills in one collection, and then I took all the videos and put those in a collection. So this allows me to isolate the images and find what I'm looking for faster. Let me zoom up with my thumbnail so we can see them a little bit bigger. Here's one of the main things I love about Lightroom because it really helps us edit video faster. If I want to see what's in a clip, all I have to do is hover my mouse over it and it shows me a little preview of what that video is all about. So it saves me from having to open up every single one and I can just mouse over it. Now, it's not that I'm clicking because if I'm clicking, then that is moving the frame. I'm not clicking or touching my mouse. I'm just hovering or passing the cursor over it. So that's a huge time saver. And I kind of have a system. You can see some of these are yellow, some of them are red, some of them are green. What I do is I go through each one and I mark the ones that I think I'm gonna use as yellow. Those are possibilities. The ones I totally love are red. This one I definitely want to trim down. And then once I have decided on one and I've trimmed it down, I flag those green. So these are virtual copies. This number nine, that is my full clip. You can see it's one minute. And then number 10, it says two of four. That is a virtual copy and it's nine seconds. And this one is five seconds and this one's three seconds. This clip, number nine, had so many great little views, I chopped it up into three little virtual copies, each one small enough to go into the slideshow. And we're gonna chop up this one too, here in a second. But first, let me show you how to trim a video clip. I'm gonna double click on it to go into loop view. You can also click on this little icon right here to make it go to loop view. And I have a little playhead here. I can hit the space bar and it will start playing. I can hit the space bar and it'll pause it. So that's really handy. But I don't get to see the view here. So on this little bar, see this little gear on the side? I can click on that and look, it shows me all my little frames and it allows me to trim the video. So here's, there's a marker at the beginning that's the in point and the out point and all I need to do is figure out where I want it to be. Now I know this was a clip of when I was talking to her brother on the phone. She was just looking around ignoring me and then I decided to start videotaping her. So right here is where I got her attention and let's just play. I'll hit the space bar and I start walking around her. That is really cute. So what I need to do is figure out where I want to start. I hit the space bar to start playing and I stop right there. I move my in point up to that point. So that's where my video will start. Then I hit the space bar to play. And when I get to the end of where I want to stop, I just hit the space bar again. And let's scoot that back just a teeny bit. And then we'll move the 
end bar, which is the out point, up to that. So now I have literally trimmed the pieces, and if I hit the space bar, it'll play just what's left. There we go, that looks good. Now you can hear the wind blowing in the microphone and the audio, but we're gonna trim all that out for the slideshow. So now this is a trimmed piece of video and it's ready to go into my slideshow. I need to export it, of course. But once it's trimmed, I usually just mark it green so I know that it is ready to go. So I'm gonna hit eight. That way it sets my label to green. You can also go up to photo, set color label green, and there's your shortcut. So that's kind of my system, and anytime I can go back to this clip and move my in and out points and re-edit, it's, it's non-destructive. It's a great way to go. Wasn't that easy? So let's edit this clip because we wanted to take two pieces out of this. First thing I do is if my timeline is not showing, I will click the little gear so I can trim it. I take my playhead and I just go through it to kind of get an idea of what's going on. I like the way she's pushing her hair aside. And then the middle part, I already have lots of good head or face shots from the other clip. But I like it at the end right there where she puts her head back. I think I want to use that. So we're going to trim this into two pieces. So I'm going to start from the beginning and hit play. Actually, let's just trim off that very beginning and then space bar again to play. That looks like a good end point. I just hit the space bar. Now I can move my out point up to there. And just to verify, I'm gonna play the space bar one more time just to make sure that's what I want. That looks great. So now I want to make a virtual copy of this because you can only trim and have one in point and out point. So if I wanna use another piece of this video, I'm gonna to have to make a copy of it. It's so easy in Lightroom. All you need to do is do Control or Command apostrophe, and that will make a virtual copy. So now I have two. You can see this says one of two and two of two. And you can also see that I've cut it down to six seconds. It was 38. My first one is done. I'm gonna hit eight, so now it's green. I'm gonna to go to the second one and I'm gonna double click on it and open it. And you can see it's trimmed to here. Here's what I do. I take the playhead and I move it up to the out point. I move the in point up to it and then I move the out point to the end. So I know that I'm not gonna repeat and show that part again. So then I can, I know the middle I'm not gonna use. So I'm gonna zoom up till close to the end. Oh, right about there, let's back it up. I hit play and stop. Let's go back to right there. I'll move my endpoint in. I hit play and I go to the end, right about there, and I move my out point in. So here we go. Let's review and we'll play. That's pretty. So that is my second copy and that one I'm gonna hit eight and I'm gonna make it green. So I know those two copies are ready to be exported. Isn't this easy? So here's what I do in the very end. What I've got is all of my clips. I've got yellow ones, red ones, and green ones, and I just want to narrow down to just the green ones, the ones that are ready to be exported. Because remember, I want each one of these little clips to be its own file so I can import it into ProShow Web. So down here on the option bar, at the bottom where we have our filter. Right over here, we've got color boxes down on the lower right. I'm gonna click green and check it out. It only shows the green files. So once I have all my video clips filtered down to just the ones that are ready, I'm gonna do Control or Command A to select all, and then I'll go to File Export. So in the export window, I typically export them to the same folder they were in, but I put it in a new subfolder called Video trims, so I know those are the ones that are trimmed and ready to go, and then uh, I may rename them. Yeah, I haven't renamed these, so I'm going to call this jasmine-original file number. That way I can keep track of them, so I'm going to leave, I'm going to choose this, and then I'm going to put her name in it. Then you have to also do video, so I'm going to click the video tab, and I just want to make sure the format is H. 264 and the quality is max. 
It's really simple. Then I just hit export and it actually goes pretty fast. So if you look up here in the upper left hand corner, you can see the progress bar. Now all I need to do is go over to my stills, uh, take off my filter, and then I can go through, edit down to my favorites and export those as well. I can export them to the same folder or a different folder. And in the end, all those files are ready to upload to ProShow Web. So let me show you ProShow Web interface. Once you go in there, you can go to the imagery tab and I just uploaded all my stills and my video clips right into this interface and it does everything else for me. We'll do a blog later about how to use ProShow Web. But for now, that was a great lesson on how to use Lightroom and get going on making your own e-products. Thanks for tuning in. This is Suzette Allen with Discover Mirrorless.